Hey guys, time for another filament review video. In front of us here is Urarum branded PLA plastic in the colours purple and white. Urarum is Australian made. But just before we get stuck into this review, I just want to say a big thanks to my number one fans. take the plastic out of their boxes and you're presented with one kilogram spools. They come presented in vacuum sealed bags with a bag of a uh, desiccant. There's also a sticker on here giving recommended printing temperatures and bed temperatures and also Australian made. Good to see. I've removed the plastic packaging from the filament so we can take a closer look. This white PLA as you can see has a nice shiny glossy finish to it so this is going to look quite nice with finished parts. You're going to see all the detail uh, that is in the finished print and as this is 1.75 I have a set of digital calipers here so we can measure the tolerance uh, of the plastic so we're looking for 1.75 here and that's it 1.75 fantastic the other one we have is purple PLA and again that's beautiful nice shiny glossy finish so any detail that are in the parts that you print with a glossy plastic like this will come out fantastic and the last thing to check before I start printing, making sure the spool holder fits inside the spool. Yes, it fits. Okay, I've preheated the hot end to 185 degrees Celsius. That's the bottom of the range for this PLA plastic. Let's try the bottom of the range first. I'll place the plastic through the E3D hot end, feed it down the nozzle, and keep pushing the plastic through until I can see just white. There it is. Push down the PTFE tube. And reattach the Bowden idler. And here is the completed low poly stormtrooper available from Thingiverse. It comes in three parts, the body, the head, and the connector. This was printed with the white PLA plastic and as you can tell it's come up absolutely great. The nice gloss finish of this white PLA really shines and, and really details this part much much more than a, like a matte finish uh, white PLA would. I don't see any um, under extrusion in any of the layers so there are no gaps at all anywhere around this piece so I had no problems with my E3D hot end and printing this PLA plastic. Uh, and also the uh, the walls are quite straight all the way up so that that also tells me that the tolerance of this plastic must be pretty tight now originally i printed this connector at 100 percent scale in fact all all pieces are, are at 100 percent scale however i'm unable to fit this little connector inside the main body and nor am i able to fit the connector uh, underneath the head here uh, i did ream uh, the hole uh, under his head here a bit just to allow more space to get this in but it still wouldn't fit so what I did is I um, printed this piece out again and here it is but printed at 90% scale so in in Cura I just changed it from 1.0 to 0 0.9 
Pretty this again, only took you know 30 seconds, and now it fits into the head much better. It's still a tight fit, but um, it actually fits into the head this time, like that, and also into the main body, like so. And there it is, and the head articulates, it can turn left and it can turn right. Cool. And of course, if I'm going to print a Stormtrooper, I'm going to print Darth Vader. And here he is. This is the Darth Vader body with cape, his head, and the head connector. And just like the white PLA, the purple has come out just as nice. It has that nice glossy uh, finish to it, which really does make the plastic look fantastic. Um, one of the downsides with my 3D printer and glossy plastic like this is on my Y-axis, so any uh, Y-axis moves really shows the uh, the oscillations or vibrations that my printer produces. Um, my X carriage on my printer has no oscillation problems whatsoever, but my Y carriage is riddled, riddled with them, so I'll definitely be looking at upgrading my printer very soon to fix that. Now, I took the preemptive move and scaled down the connector to 90% because that's what I had to do with the Stormtrooper. But you'll see, it's too loose. So, I was going to print that again, but I thought, well, hang on, well, I've still got the white Stormtrooper connector at 100%, so I'll uh, see if that fits, and lo and behold, it's a perfect fit. So. You can't win them all, but fair enough, I'll just use it, and uh, again, I'll place Darth's head on his body, and there it is. Look at that. Fantastic. Of course, his head articulates as well, and this looks really nice. The uh, designer of, of these low-poly uh, statues has done a really great job, and the uh, the PLA, just like the white, had no, tr no troubles uh, printing an even uh, finish on this. There were no stringies in between his cape and his legs or his arms or anything like that. And one thing I didn't uh, realize uh, when I sliced this is to print this with a brim because this cape only has a very minor uh, surface contact to the uh, to the heat bed and the cape doesn't actually connect back up to the main body until about here so I was watching it quite keenly and luckily it didn't topple over uh, it stuck to the blue painters tape very well you saw how I took it off and I was absolutely wrapped with the way that this uh, PLA plastic works with my 3d printer so thanks to Rarum for sending me this PLA plastic to review. They do sell other filaments on their website, such as ABS and HIPS uh, and nylon. They will be stocking PETG very soon, they tell me, and I'll be keen to get another sample in PETG to try it with my 3D printer. Hopefully they get um, a few colors that they can stock uh, as well. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Leave your comments down below, and I'll catch you next time.